Frog skin and fish scales can soon be used to repair human bones. Scientists at the Nanyang Technological University here in Singapore have developed a way to use the biomaterial instead of a patient's own tissues. It will also help tackle the problem of aquaculture waste. For the first time, the team has managed to use discarded bullfrog skin and fish scales to create the biomaterial. It acts as a scaffold for cells to multiply so new bones can be formed. Patients with jaw defects from trauma or cancer surgery may be able to use this recovery method in a clinical setting in about five years from now. It could also be used for bone growth during dental implants. The normal way of getting the sources, the collagen sources, and our in-house development method, we can actually save up to 40% of the time to get the same exact materials. So it's more like more than 40% of the uh, shortening of the time frame to get our final product compared to the traditional methods. And for a closer look, we're joined by lead of the study, Assistant Professor Dalton Tay from the NTU School of Materials Science and Engineering. Thanks for joining us this evening. Uh, firstly, I have to ask, why did you choose bullfrog skin and fish scales in particular? And help us understand in simple terms what properties they have that suitably uh, make them uh, suitable for tissue repair. Right. Um, well, the reason why we chose um, bullfrog skin and fish scale is because they represent a significant stream of um, aquaculture byproducts that are produced locally and regionally. And in Singapore alone, the combined annual consumption of frog flesh and fish is estimated to be around 100 million kg, uh, of which only about 30 to 50 percent of the seafood will be consumed. The majority of the waste are actually incinerated, which is economically unwise and environmentally unsound, uh, because in reality, a lot of these byproducts contain numerous chemicals and materials that can be reclaimed and valorized. So for instance, in our process, we show that as much as 70% of the collagen can actually be recovered from bullfrog skin discard. Uh, and also the scales from snakehead fish can be uh, readily transformed into hydroxyapatite. Both materials are needed for to maintain good bone health. Collagen, for instance, is an important uh, biomaterial which can provide basic physical support for bone cells to attach and grow. And on the other hand, um, hydroxyapatite is a mineral commonly found in bone which serves as an important source of calcium and phosphate ions to promote bone formation. So when you combine these two materials together, both components can act synergistically to repair bone defects. So it's an exciting development in terms of this creation of this biomaterial. How does it actually compare with using actual tissues though, it, especially in terms of cost, as well as the quality of the results? Yeah, yeah, so uh, you're yeah, actually right. The current gold standard of uh, to repair bone defects is to use um, autologous bone, bone graft. So this means they need to source the bone material from the patients themselves. The patient-derived bone materials are self-evidently uh, biocompatible and effective to promote bone growth. Now, the problem is that extraction of bone tissue is an uh, expensive and painful process since surgery is involved. Uh, besides, this approach may not be a viable option if the defect site requires large amount of bone. Comparatively, the use of our waste to resource bone graft is a promising alternative. Based on our lab experiments, we showed that the bone precursor cells were not only able to attach, but also grow and mature into bone cells. And because our approach does not require the harvesting of bone materials from the patient, the overall cost should be significantly lowered. And is the new material suitable for everyone? Are there specific groups who might not be able to use it? Yeah, so this is a very good um, question. Uh, in fact, we are actually at the early stages of our research and we have yet to perform risk stratification assessment in patients. Um, however, since the materials are reclaimed from edible sources, we believe that the materials uh, should be safe and amenable for patients of diverse background. All right, well, thank you so much for speaking with us this evening, Assistant Professor Dalton Tay from the NTU School of Materials Science and Engineering.